surroundings. You're probably at home, you're probably indoors, unless you've taken your laptop to the park. Um, anyway, we're in a two by two metre square here and I'm just going to, probably looks bigger on the video. So it's pretty much two big steps this way. Um, I'm going to be in it for most of the time. There will be times where I go out of it as well. Um, yeah, I reckon just make sure you clear some space because I know I've been doing some classes at home where other people have been teaching and you think you've got this kind of big space and then all of a sudden you're flicking your hand to the bookshelf and it could be really painful. So just be wary of that, that sometimes the space looks bigger at home than what it is actually when you're in the studio dancing. So let's start with on the ground. So sitting up nice and high on your six bones and massaging into the foot. So having a sense of the um, space between your foot, so not kind of getting infatuated with your foot here, but just almost like you are actually experiencing it, you're actually feeling it. So what's going on in the foot today? Maybe you've been really active over this whole period, but maybe you haven't actually dance class yet so what is it how can you get back to that space which feels familiar or if this is sort of your first experience doing a dance class at home what is it about what can you feel in your foot just notice how much it's moving like how much you can actually move it with the hands as well so you want the foot if the hands aren't doing anything right now the foot is just it's completely relaxed so what is it about the foot you can close your eyes Noticing your breathing as you're doing this. Noticing how much the foot is able to be moved by the hands. Notice any painful bits in the foot as well. I don't think I've done a foot massage for maybe eight weeks or so. So it's feeling pretty painful in parts, even though I've been pretty active. So yeah, be, be kind, be, be aware of your body. Just go to the limitations, but also find those moments where you want to, you know, exert yourself a bit more. And going up to the heel now, and your Achilles, I'm lifting my shoulders, a bit of a habit, just try and drop the shoulders, thinking about length through the neck, as you're here thinking about length through the whole spine, so sits bones into the floor, what you're sitting on, and then up through your pelvis into your sacrum, your lumbar spine, your thoracic, into your cervical spine as well. Let's take the foot to the floor, making sure that that, maybe I'll just turn towards you, making sure that the um, foot is in line with the knee, so it's not kind of out or in, but brushing down, and using really nice firm strokes here with the hands as well. And then from here, interlacing the fingers. I probably need to move forward a bit. Interlace the fingers. Really hold, squeezing it towards your chest. Roll back just a little way over the pelvis. And back, roll. And back. From here, adjust the foot. Massage the lower leg. Lower leg behind the knee. Lengthen the leg over the thigh. I'm just gonna go forward a little way over the thigh, inside and outside of that thigh. Nice rubs with the heels of the hands. And rock onto one side, down the outside of that leg. Walking fist. Good, from here, let's switch over. So, there'll always be a little bit of dust that comes off your foot. So, just massaging, dropping the shoulders. Let's do this side with the eyes closed so you don't have to look at me. Lots of times, just um, don't worry about looking so much. 
if you don't feel like it. Or maybe you do just want to use the visual information. So massaging through the foot, noticing how much the bones can move. Maybe you want to think about the space between the hands. You've got the left palm of the hand, the right palm of the hand. And what is it about the space between that? So the sole of the foot, the top of the foot, have a sense of how um, high the foot is. As you keep going, have a sense of how long the foot is. From the toes through to the heel, start to work up through the heel. And then into the Achilles. Release that leg which is long. And then take the foot to the floor, making sure it's in line with the knee, brushing down. up the back of that leg, through the calf, into the back of the knee, just being careful, Ow. that's sort of slow, and then massaging over the top of that thigh, up to the hip, inside and outside, with the heels of the hands, and wrapping off to one side. Just take both knees up. I'm going to face this way. So let's find your six bones, rocking up nice and high. And let's just take, let the thigh bones, the femur bones, really drop into your pelvis, the acetabulum. Take the arms forward and then just exhale, roll back, engaging. You don't have to roll and then stack the spine coming up. We'll do four more. And go back, exhale, coming up, stacking the spine. Exhale. Inhale to come up, stack the spine. Exhale. Inhale to come up, stack the spine. Exhale. Inhale to come up, stack the spine. Take hold of the knees and then going back over the top. Finding the arch. And back and then rolling down. All the way onto the floor. From here, just allow your body. I'm just going to scoot forward a bit. From here, knees bent. Feet on the floor. Going back to when you were actually massaging the soles of the feet. Just allow the hands to be on the front of your pelvis. And give yourself maybe, say six deep inhales and exhales. And notice what's in contact with the floor. As you're noticing what parts of your body are in contact with the floor, Notice if there's any parts of the body which are actually holding on to tension, which you actually don't need to be holding on to right now. So I guess for me it's parts like maybe the pelvis, so I might just want to rock that a little bit from side to side. Maybe it's my fingers. Maybe it's my head, my neck, the muscles of my jaw. Maybe my forehead or my eyes. Just bringing awareness to your body, giving it some time to find a sense of giving into the floor. Now, if your eyes are open, oh, sorry, if your eyes are closed here, let's open them. And just start to roll the head from one side to the other. It doesn't matter which side you start on, but roll the head from one side to the other. Let the shoulders fall into the floor. Let the feet fall into the floor. Thinking about your big toe, your little toe, your heel. In fact, your scapula, shoulder blades on the floor. Notice your ribs, the front, in the back of the ribs. And as you keep rolling the head on the floor, just notice what your eyes are looking at. If your eyes are leading through the space or if they're just 
simply going along for the ride. Doesn't mean you have to change it, but just notice what it is you, that you're doing. Yeah, and do a couple more. And then let the back of the head settle on the floor. So you're looking up. Take the arms up. Palms are facing together and just let's lift the shoulders off the floor so the shoulder blades are going to slide up and then settle them back down. Lift them up almost as if someone's standing over the top of you, lifting the fingertips up almost as if they're holding you by the wrist. Lift them up and down. Notice what happens to other parts of the body. Maybe you're starting to engage into your abdominals to do this. Maybe you're not. And from here we're going to take them out to the side. Hover them off the ground. Imagine that you're lengthening the fingertips, piercing them out through the walls of your house into the space, maybe out into the street, out through the building next to you. And then release back down. Good. From here, uh, lengthen the, doesn't matter which leg. Let's go. I'm going to go with my left leg. Lengthen, right knee interlaced around. Go whichever way you want to go first. Don't worry if you're going the opposite way, but just rolling that leg. So if I let go of my leg, it's just going to flop down. Have a sense of the arms really doing the work. And then go the other way around. And two. About three, four, five. There. From here, squeeze it in towards the chest, letting all of that air, all the light disappear between the thigh and the ribs. And take it out to the side. Squeeze it towards the side of your ribs. From here, we're going to take it across the body and look towards the other hand. So if you've got your right knee bent, you're going to be looking towards the right fingertips. Just going as far as you can go and then lengthen through both arms. See if you can look back towards that hand. And from here, we're going to lengthen the leg down. I'm probably going to bang to the wall. We're going to roll onto our front. Roll onto our back. Into the wall. Let's go. Other side. So, roll up with the... Roll up with the left leg, squeeze it towards the roots, and then start to roll. Two, three, four, go other way, one, a two, a three, a four. Let's take it out to the side. So the left hand or even elbow might be kind of cradling that leg. Bring it in towards the ribs, as far as you can go. It doesn't have to be necessarily touching the ribs, but have a sense of really releasing that leg. From here, take it across the body, over, out, as far as it goes, find a stretch through the spine, looking back towards the other arm. From here, roll onto your front, roll onto your side, onto your back. From here, we're just going to keep rolling across the floor. And roll, you might end up on your side, you might end up on your back. Have a sense of releasing the body, pouring the weight. You might... Move around a little bit, kind of go off course, don't worry about that. Just noticing how you're rolling. What's leading you? Is there anything leading you? Do you think your hands are leading you more? Is it your legs leading you more? Have a sense of kind of trialing things out. I'm just going to go back into the middle this way. So roll. And rolling. Trying to release through the front the whole time. You want, when you're rolling on your side, your back, you want to have a sense of the head rolling on the floor. Let's just go now from, I might change direction, on your back. So roll to the right, onto your back to the side, roll to the left, and side and right, and side and to the left, and side and to the right, and side and to the left, and side and to the right. Da, doodle, doodle, doodle. From here, let's roll to the right. From here, take both knees in, lengthen the left leg up. Simple. So you're looking towards the wall. Notice what's in your room, in your house. Notice what you're observing. Maybe it's the stack of books, maybe it's the plant, maybe it's the painting, maybe it's someone else, maybe it's someone reading. Maybe it's the TV, maybe you're listening to sounds inside and outside of the space. Slide down through your right arm. Roll to your left. Roll. Bring the knees in, then extend the right leg coming up. You can really use this hand here to bring you up. The forearm into the hand, come up. Just notice what you're looking at. For me, I can see a pile of clothes over there. I can see a speaker. I 
can see a line in front of me on the floor, I can see orange walls. And then from there, let the hands slide down. Roll onto your back to the right, come up. And we'll do it a little faster, so slide up through the right hand. And come up. And slide up. Feel this movement through the sides of your ribs. Notice how you organize your hands. Come up. Notice that there can be a circular action here over the top. Come up. Slide down. Roll onto your back. Notice this right hand circling up. Come in. It almost meets the left foot. Go down. Roll. Come up. Go down. Roll. Come up. We're going to add a little stretch through the right hand. Here. Reach. Two. As far as you can go. It might just be to here. might be further. Find a stretch through the side. Slide down, come up and over. I'm going to face towards you, so you stay where you are. Which way do I need to go? I should see it. So you've got your right leg extended this way. I'm just going to go a bit further forward. Come up. We're going to slide this way. So the right hand's going to come up and over. From here, we're going to go back. Take the leg up, give it a shake. Push that right foot into the floor, almost like you're lifting the pelvis off. Roll to the left, roll to the right. Come back, up, over. So we can slide down, roll, come up and over. There, come back. We go here, we roll down onto our back, leg in the air, brrr, shake, drop. Push over, roll, roll. Come up, over, stretch, up, slide, there, there. Let's go, I might face this way again. So let's go to the right. You can either stay the way you're facing or Reorient yourself so it's as if you're looking at your screen and then you're, instead of trying to um, mirror me, you're just copying directly. So let's go to the right. Come up. Stretch. Over. Go back. Push into that hand. Roll down. Take the leg up. Shake. Drop it down. Push into that foot. Roll. As far as you want to go, you might roll a couple of times. And then you come up, over that side again, stretch down, down, over to the left, come up, stretch up, over, go back, push in the hand, go back, interlace the fingers, roll down, onto your back, take the leg up, give it a shake, Whew. activate that leg, move, drop it down, push into the floor, roll, maybe you're banging into a sofa, Go round, come up, over, up, slide, up. You can do that a few more times if you want to. Um, but let's go for a little wander. I guess the most important part of that is really to just find a sense of release into the floor. So these moments where you're finding this, let, and those moments where you can really let your... Um, arms help you. So don't feel like you actually can't use your arms, that you can actually slide down. So pour the weight in through there. Roll. Pour the weight. Sure. And especially, yeah, as you're coming up here, don't feel like you can't use the force of this arm to come up, to go over, to come up, to use that arm there to go like that. So really finding this beautiful movement from the outside of the foot, almost like the top into the outside of the foot, into the heel of the foot. So into the sole of the foot to roll, spin up nice and tall, roll down. Yeah, squeeze up. My leg feels very inactive today. Find the shake, roll. There. Let that, the slam of the foot, or the drop of the foot into the floor, pick this up. Yeah? Maybe actually we'll do it one more time. So, I'm going 
interfacey. Roll down. Let's go right and left. So we go knees to the right. Come up. Use the forearm. Up and over. Come back. Right hand to the floor. Push back. Interlace the fingers. Sitting up nice and tall. Roll down. Take the leg up. Go. Shake. Drop it down. Heel. Heel. Peel, I mean. Reach up. Over. There. There. Drop. Roll. Come. Reach up and over. Down. Slide. Roll. Come up and over. Go back. You probably find that you're getting a little more stretch through your side ribs right now. Roll down. Let that gradual descent. Leg, heel. Think about your sits by your heel. Find a shake. Ooh, the leg. The leg might not be all that way up. It might just be to here. Don't worry. Drop it. Push. Open up. Expand through the ribs. Roll. There. I probably go on off screen now. I roll back. We come in. We go up. Let's stay wherever you are, whichever direction you're facing, doesn't matter. Let's go for a little walk on the sits bone and back, finding that really nice twist through the ribs. Think about a drop of the elbows and reach forward with the fingers. And then we go the other way, reach some more of a homolateral walk on the sits bones now. Good, go back. And from here, we're just going to take the hands back, drag the heels in. Doesn't matter which direction you're facing, maybe you're kind of close to a sofa, maybe you're sort of looking, oh the TV's on now, you can look towards the TV. <laughs> and think about picking up your pubic bone nice and high, fingers are really pushing the floor, palms of the hands pushing the floor, energy through all surfaces of the foot, so the heel, the little toe, the big toe. And then from here, drop the bottom down, lengthen the legs, sweep the arms forward, whoa, cascade forward, doesn't matter if your legs if your um, torso isn't going so far forward, wherever you're comfortable in going to. From here, take the hands back, drag the heels in. Whoa. Feet on the floor, big toe, little toe, heel, pushing up, pubic bone lifting nice and high, pushing in through the arms, drop the bottom down, lengthen the feet away from you, over. From here, we're going to just take the hands back behind you. I'm going to reorient this way. Take the hands back behind you. Rotate onto your back. Open your legs a bit. From here, just take hold. Arm goes up. Take it off the ground, piercing through the space. And other leg goes off. So you've got the left, hand, left leg hovering off the rack, arm hovering off the release of room. Everything releases. Left arm hovering off, right arm hovering Right leg hovering off, piercing through the space, release, and we go right arm, left leg, relax, left arm, right leg, release, right arm, left leg, release, left arm, right leg, release, right arm, left leg, last one, see that line from the arm, from the toes all the way up through the fingers, release, and the other side, left arm, right leg. From the fingers up through the toes, legs, 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 legs. From here, let's fold into the right side elbow and the knee into the tightest ball and open up. And the other side. And open up from here. We're going to go all the way into a ball, over onto our thighs. Dropping the head towards the floor, having a sense of a beautiful fold through the thighs. The ribs can rest onto the thighs and think of the pelvis as being really heavy so it drops towards the heels. Take the arms forward. Let's just roll onto the crown of the head. We're really going to help and support ourselves with the arms here, with the forearms and roll back down. And roll onto the crown of the head using the support of your hands. It's not all the weight isn't being taken in through the head. And from here we're going to go onto the forearms onto the hands and just adjust the hands underneath you. Tuck one foot under, the other foot under. From here, hover the knees up. Engage into the abdominals. And knees down. Lengthen the toes over. 
lengthen through the hands. From here, roll up, heavy, 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 heavy pelvis rolling up. Head's the very last thing. So, I'll just change directions. From here, interlace the fingers. Take a beautiful roll one way, and a beautiful roll the other way. Take a little flick. Good, push forward, out to the side, push forward, out to the side, push forward, out to the side, push forward, out to the side. Let's go forward to the hands. Energy through the crown of the head, through the sits bones. So just notice or be aware of what's in front of you. So your head's looking towards the ground, just notice what is in the space in front of you. And what do you think is in the space behind you? And just take a little rock forward and back. And almost think about beams of light coming off your sits bones, beam of light coming out through your head. And from here, we're going to tuck the toes under. I'm going to go this way. We're going to tuck the toes under, sit back on the heels, take the little toe out and the other little toe. If that's way too much for you, because sometimes it's a really intense stretch to actually go through the back of the feet there, you can just sit back on the length of the toes, sit back on the heels. But let's go here again. There, go the other way. Find the push, and out, and out, and out. Fine, shake, ooh. From here, we're gonna take the arms forward, lengthen the toes, adjust so the hands directly underneath you, elbows are facing, and then curl on the back. Find a beautiful length and overlap, curve the back, exhale. Exhale, inhale. Inhale, exhale. From here, nice long line. Tuck the toes under, hover the knees off. From here, how are the arms going? We're going to take one leg back, the other leg back. Find a rock between the hands and the feet. Energy through the top of the head, through the heels. And then from here, let that go. Lift the pelvis up. Doesn't matter if the heels don't reach the floor, but we're just going to tread through the feet. Hopefully that's okay through the shoulders. Let the head go, so really enjoy watching the space behind you upside down. Treading through, you might wanna tread the feet in. If you're feeling sort of pretty stretchy today, you might wanna tread them in a bit more. Or maybe you wanna just hang out here. From here, let's lift onto the balls of the feet, opening up through the hands, and heels can move towards the floor. It doesn't matter if they don't reach the floor, but have a sense of them going towards the floor. From here, we're just gonna walk the feet in a little way. The knees can be really nice and bent. I'm just gonna tuck in my top. So, still hanging over, let the weight go in through the legs, and the, the chest is really resting on the thighs. Take a little shake, low the head, oh. Take a nod, yes. You can have the eyes open to close, I've got mine closed right now. And we'll take a shake, no. Take a nod, yes. Let that nodding and shaking go, then find a bounce through the legs. Maybe start to open the eyes. And then let the bouncing go, roll. Actually, let's go all the way down first off. So find this nice little squat. So we've got the hands connected into the floor. Beautiful C-shaped curve from your coccyx, sacrum, lumbar spine into the thoracic, over the top of the head, almost like you've got this medicine ball for the head. So it's really, really heavy. Find this really nice, happens without thinking, it's just balancing in the body, finding this really beautiful movements which happen as you just are here. I don't know if you can see them at all, but I can feel this balancing here. Tiny weight shift. Here, we've been hanging here for a while. Take the heels into the floor, and we're going to roll up to standing over eight counts. So you can either roll up without using the hands, or if you want to, you can start to roll up with the hands. You've probably got your head over, not looking at the image, but just really make sure 
that you are allowing the head to be the very last thing that comes up here. Let's do that one more time. Sometimes I'll face you just so you can kind of see exactly what I look like front on. Otherwise, sometimes I'll go this way so you can kind of get a sense of what the spine needs to be doing. So, feet in parallel, not too wide, not here, not joined together, kind of stuck through the middle, but have a sense of just where your femur bone, thigh bone goes into your hip sockets. So, close your eyes now, drop the shoulders, take five deep breaths and have a sense of, you know, when we're on the ground, and we notice what was in contact with the floor. Maybe now you're actually noticing your feet, what's in contact with the floor, and noticing these small shifts of movement which happen as you stand here. Open the eyes. And then from here, just take the head forward. So it's almost as if your eyes are looking down towards the space in between your feet. Keep rolling down, let the pelvis still be still. And then you feel that moment where the pelvis tips, knees can bend, fingers touch the floor, and then fold the knees, roll up, stacking the spine. And rolling down. And rolling up, maybe we'll do this just a little more swiftly. So three more, go. And come and roll down, and come up, press your feet into the floor as you're coming up, rolling down, and come up, let's just take the arms up, find a rise, I'll probably fall over, no, notice where you are, on balance, drop the heels, take the arms out, pressure through the air, okay, so, I feel like I've been warming up for a while, hope you're feeling good, so, Let's continue. We'll do some kind of formal, more formal warm-up stuff, some balancing, and then we'll go into a bit of a improvisation, and then we'll learn a phrase. We're going to do some foot peels. So let's take the heel away, and two. Let's do four. Three and four. Really simple. Toe away, and two. Da, 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 da. Other side, one, and two, and three, and four. Push the toes, and toes, and toes. That's it. Okay, then we'll go one, lift the heel. Three, four, five, six, heel down, up and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven again, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's it. Okay, I've just got to the side for a second. So we're going to start, you can start left or right, doesn't matter, doesn't matter which leg you start. So let's go, heel moves away, down. And down, down. This next four, it's really about, you get to there, then it's the toes. So don't feel like it has to be a big movement of lifting the leg. It's really just the strength, oh, the toes. Yeah, three, four. Four on the other leg, three, four, then push away. Then this one is, so you go to the plie, the bend, in parallel. And it's really about keeping your pelvis as still as you can. So it's not kind of going like this and it's not going like this. So find that, lift the heel. You can probably see my moving maybe. You go up, you go for the rise, you drop the other heel, you take a bend, you take a heel down, try and be even there, you come up. You go fold, it's good to have hands there too. Heel, down, down, down. Do that twice through. Then we'll go into a turnout. So don't worry where you are in your, in your turnout. You might just be to here. You might be more. Okay. The important thing is that the heels are together. Okay. So it's not as if you're kind of in here, but together. So we're going to go here, fold, peel away, here, peel away, roll through. This happens twice. And then we go to turn up. We'll also add some arms. I'm going to add some arms. Don't feel like you have to do. It might, it might not be kind of like pretty standard. This way, that way. You can also add any arms you want. Okay? Six, seven, eight, and one. A two, 
a three, a four, peel a one, a two, a three, a four, other leg for one, two, three, four, push, 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 eight moves, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, other way with the arms if you're using the arms, da, 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 other way, da, Ready to turn out. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Feel, feel. Use the strength of the toes there. And a one, two, three. Then toes a push, push, push. Let's go a little slower here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll use the arms. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, other way with the arms if you want. Four. Let's go one more time with this, anything with the arms. Okay, let's go into a little plie. So we're gonna fold the knees. Take the arms up, we're gonna find a curve forward oh, over the top of something, come up. And we're going to find an arch back. From here, we will take the down with the arms, lift the heels, find the rise, and down. That much again. So we go fold and up and up. Up. Arch. Up. And one, two, three, four. From here, we're going to roll down. Two, three, four. Big fold of the knees. One, two, three, Four, take the torso to vertical. Two, three, four. Use the legs, push up. Two, three, four. Roll through. One, two, three, four. Let's do that again. There's a couple, there's two options. So we can do this. There, there. Roll through. We do that again. Ba, 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 ba. Roll through. From here, you can either go roll through, fold the knees, Come to vertical, from here, find that push up, or you can go to vertical, go back down with the hands, and then roll through. Yeah, let's go. So we're gonna do that in, this parallel, into a turnout, then into a wider turnout, okay? Let's go. Four, up, good, up, oh. down one, two, three, four, fold, go up, gather into the waist, or you can go back down, up, roll through, one, two, three, four, first, fold, up, then, up, one, two, Three, that much again. Fold up, back. Up, up, up. One, two, three, down, rolling. One, two, fold the knees here if you want to. I can keep you straight. Fold. Up. Gather into the waist, energy through the legs, through the fingers. Up. I did say we were going to do it twice in first, but let's not. Two, three, four, wide, fold, up, curve, up, arch, up, one, two, three, down and fold, biggest curve go, up, find an arch, straight through the legs, one, two, three, four, rolling, one, two, three, Four, fold, head, weight through the head, weight through the sits bones, open up through the knees, use the legs, push up, roll, one, two, three, 
three, four. Go over to the side. Maybe you want to adjust the leg. Find a nice stretch through that side. And come up. Go over to the other side. Find a stretch. And come up. Over to the other side. And up. Over to the side. From here, we're going to go over to the side. Keep the torso there as you switch the legs. Roll around to that side. Press up through that leg. Imagine you've got this kind of perimeter, circumference of a ball. Over to the other side, we go over. Change the legs, roll around, push up. Let's do eight more, you can go a little faster. And change, roll around, come up, band over one. And change, roll around. You can use a lot of the torso, or you can kind of make it smaller. Challenge your balance here. Come up, band over one. How do you coordinate? The arms and the knee and the legs and shoo. Is that about eight? Da, round, up and last one. Ba, ba, up, good. Let's take the feet into parallel. Fold the knees, dive the chest forward. Shoo. Just gonna make sure my, knee, my feet are in, in line. From here, you can lengthen the legs if you feel like doing that. Interlace the fingers, drop them over, or you can just have the knees bent. Let the head go here. Open up through the shoulders. And from here, let the arms go. Lengthen the legs. If you feel we want a bit more of a stretch, take a little toss of the weight from one side to the other. Let's bend the knees. Find the toss of the weight. So you push from one foot into the other. Let there be a little wave through the ribs, through the head. Imagine there's paint pouring out through the top of your head. And what kind of pattern is it making on the floor? Notice your breathing. Zoom, zoom. And slow it down a bit. Zoom, zoom, bing, dun, 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 dun. If you've got your eyes closed, maybe open them up now. Slow that down. From here. Sometimes it feels like you just don't want to slow down, like you just want the momentum of that movement to keep on going. From here, take the hands together. Jump the feet in, rolling up. Okay, let's do a little twist, and then I think we're going to um, a bit more of an improv. We are just going to go twisting to, we're going to go to the right, I'll go to the left. We're going to twist one, two, three, four, five. Energy through the arms. Six, seven, eight. Stepping out. One, up, two, up, three. Toe ball heel, toe ball heel. Leg through the arms, looking around to the back of the room. Swimming backwards. Go one, looking at the arm. Two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, eight. Forward, up, up. Left arm, up, right. A uh, left, a uh, right, a uh, left, a uh, right, a uh, left. Dragging that leg in. Two, we're going to swing over four times. I'll show you once we go swing. And up, four like this. You stay facing the front. You go down and up and and up and and up. Roll through and heel and lift and drop and drop. Six. Let's go that again. So we'll do eight. Five, six, seven, eight. The first one, you don't want the knees to be switching like this, but finding it's a wrap. Wrap. Energy through the spine as you spiral. Looking around. Eight of those. Then we'll do stepping out for eight. Finding this beautiful wide stance there. Then finding this. Then going forward. Five, six, seven, eight. Coming in, dragging the leg that is out. Coming on in, going up. And dropping over. Shoo. And up. And go for the ride. Almost like trying to roller coaster. Go down. Shoo. And up. Jump. From there, roll through. We go. What do we do? We go. Find your balance. We go. Arms, heels. Yeah? Okay. Let's do eights. Twist, twist, twist. And then starting on the left side, fours. Okay? 
with four swings still. Ready? Six, seven, eight, and a one, a two, a three, four, five. Energy through the arms. Six, seven, stepping up. It's pretty swift. Go ahead. And two, and three, and four, five, six, seven. Going back on up. Reach, 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 reach. Three, up, four, five, six, seven. Going forward. One, two, three. Seven, drag the right leg in. One, two, four swings over. Nice and swift, go. One, up and up, just get there. Up, down, up, down, up, roll through. One, easy, two, three, four. Up, heels, fold the knees to the left for four. One, two, three, four, stepping up. One, two, three, go back. One, Two, three, forward. One, two, three, four. Drag the left leg in. Two, four, four. Swings over. Go one and up and down. Up, down, up, down, up. Roll easy. Down, 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 down. Good. Okay, so. But just start to notice your feet on the floor, whatever that means. Start to slide. If you've been to this studio before, maybe you know that feeling of the black tarquette. Maybe wherever you are now, you've got this kind of different texture under your feet. Maybe it's wood, maybe it's a carpet, maybe you've gone to the park. Maybe you're in your back garden, maybe you're on your balcony. Maybe you're saying hi to your neighbors from your balcony. So, I guess wherever you are, getting information from the floor Whether that be textural information, dynamic information, maybe you want to sort of luxuriate in this. And let that also. to think about the particular texture of the air. Maybe right now you want to move away from this space. This kind of limited space that you're in at the moment. And what is it like if you go towards You need to go to the kitchen tap, get a drink of water. How do you how do you do that through using these instructions? How do you retain a sense of what you're doing in this class this morning, tonight, this afternoon, whenever you choose to do this? How do you retain a sense of this movement as you go towards another part of the house, another part of the room you're in? Notice the air around you. What is it? Does it have a colour? Does it have a texture? Where is your imagination right now taking you? What is it like to 
to be dancing, to ex be exploring this different, these different dynamics, these different textures, these different rhythms, these different movements at home with no one else. Maybe you're used to this happening with other people. How do you feed off? How do you do that thing of taking on information from other bodies, moving? Don't judge too much about what you're doing. As soon as I say, don't judge too much about what you're doing, I'm thinking, why am I lifting up my right leg like this? It's okay, you can ask questions. But just let things happen. Don't kind of go, I don't like that move. Don't think that, just go, well, that's interesting. That's interesting what's going on now. Didn't we just start with this idea of the feet on the floor? Didn't we just start with this idea of the particular texture? Just explore what you want to explore. And if you do, going back to this space that you're in, maybe you've been noticing the orange square on the floor in the screen a lot. Maybe you've been noticing that a lot. So maybe you also want to go back to that idea, tracing a perimeter of that. What is it? How do you trace a perimeter? Now you have to imagine it. I can feel it. I can feel the texture of the tape on the floor. But you kind of have to imagine what two by two is. Two big steps. Two. There. 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 Reaching. Imagine that this tape on the floor is actually, it's at ground level. Floor level, I mean. It's also of this level. Maybe it's also higher. So maybe all that you have to work in is a cube. How many steps is it from one corner to the other? If it's two that way, how many? One, two. Notice when you hit slow point, it's not really stillness. Notice what the urge is, notice what you feel like doing. Notice where your imagination is. Maybe go back to when we're rolling on the floor with our head just rolling from side to side. What is it that you see? So the head is turning how are the eyes involved in that? What are the hands doing in the space? What do you know about your skeleton? You could go on with this for another five, ten minutes if you want to. But what is it about? What do you know about the skeleton? All the bones of the feet, the lower leg, the knee, the femur, the pelvis, the spine, the ribs, the scapula, the clavicles, bones of the arms. The skull, all of the spine. Okay, so all of those little pathways that you were kind of exploring then, rhythms, dynamics, circles, pelvis, head, pathways, specificity, concentration, don't forget about those. 
as we go into learning a phrase. I'm aware there's probably different kind of um, levels, I guess, or levels of experience. So it's sort of broken into three parts. You can, you can just go over the first bit. When you feel ready, you can build onto the next bit. When you feel ready for more, you can build onto the third bit, and then it can loop, okay? We go, jump, there. So it's almost like jumping, basketball, jump, there, there. Circle clockwise, two, three, pubic bone meets fingertips. From here, ribs go forward, jump. From here, the leg that's behind you turns out as the head looks, jump. From here, you cut in, there, one, two, three, Four, we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, reach. Should we go back? Okay. We go. Ba, 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 ba. Circle. Two, three, four. Open. There. Cut in. One, two, three. There, you're on your right leg, you twist. One, a two, a three, a four. Elbow, elbow, arm, arm, up. Ba, ba. No, we go like this. Ba, 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 ba. Up. Dun. We go heels first. Ba, ba. There, ba, ba. Turn this way for a second. So we go. Shoo, da, da, circle. Two, three, over the top. Ribs, head, ribs, and foot. Right foot turns out. You look towards that. You cut in. There, there, there. This is like the twist before, but the legs come in closer to you. You go one, get wide. Two, they come in. They come in. From here we go. Elbow, elbow, arm, arm, up. Let's go that much again. So we go basketball. There, circle, 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 through, ribs, shoulder. There, one, two, three, and a one, a two, a three, a four. Elbow, elbow, sham, arm, up. Boo, you do. Oh, let's go back. Questions? Questions? Um, once you land, you go onto the right leg behind you. There! Da, da. And this doesn't have to be a big jump. You haven't done any sort of. Um, you know, you might have been doing a little kind of spring when you're improvising, so it doesn't have to be high at all. But if you want to, think about other things that you, this might connect with in your life. So, we go, and, shoo, ba, da, da, circle, pelvis, pelvis, there, over the top, pubic bone to fingers, we open up. We go with this, there, shoo. So that's sort of like three or more things happen. There, we cut in. There. One, two, three. We go one. Uh, two feet coming closer. There. There. Elbow, elbow, arm, arm up. Bada, jumpa. Over. Two, three, four. Let the head be nice and heavy there. We tuck in. Two, three, four. So on our back, like we were at the beginning, we go one, two, Three, roll, come up. So here we are, we're facing the front right hand corner of our square. And then from here we go around, to here, to here, to here. We're on the very right hand side of the square. Let's go back to, I think maybe where is the place? We go 
go to... What have we done? Let's mark through from the beginning. We go... Basketball! There, there. We go circle clockwise. Two, three, pubic bone fingertips. We've got that. Then we go open up. So what happens from here? You want to go open towards, forward. From here, I've got to put my heel down. Then we go turn. It's almost like it's this action with the feet. There. So there, we go turn. Cut in. One, two, three. So you're really going in that clockwise circling action again. Then we go R1, R2. Comes in smaller, smaller. Elbow, elbow, arm, arm up. Jew, 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 jew. Over. Let's do that bit again. So we're elbow, elbow, arm, arm up. Bada. Right, left, over. Pull the weight. So it's almost like, you know, zoom, pushing this way there. Whoa, heavy fog over the top. Tuck it in. However you want to organise yourself. You might want to use your arms going back or you might just want to go slide. Zoom. Here, your left, your left on your back. Find a shake. Drop. Really let that fall. Push into that leg. Come in and round. Front right corner with that toe. Come in. Think of how your head rolls this way. Coming in. Coming up. Rolling up. To here. Over. This is sort of like the end of the first part. Let's go back. Okay. So, we go. And... You might have your left leg on the ground. Whatever you do, you go to the ground. Da, 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 da. Here. Now you have your left leg in front. You go. Blah. You go to the rock. So right knee's bent, left. There. 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 From here, you look around. Look outside of the square. You circle the hips. One, two, three. Ba, ba. Gather everything in. This is coming up to the end of the second part. 
And then we walk. Zoom, 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 zoom. Let's go on. Third touch. There, we turn up. We go over. Two, down. We reach up. We go there. Maybe you're flicking the plant. Flick the plant. Step forward. Brush the leg. So this is my left leg. Go. Ju, 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 ju. Woo, ba. Woo, ba. There. There. Ah, that's the end. Actually, there was a little bit more, but I feel like that's enough. So, it probably seems like a lot of material but it's maybe I'm kind of putting a bit more in the mix, a bit more than usual for a 50 plus beginner class because I feel like you can kind of keep on working on things, okay? And you can start to work on um, kind of memory. You can have the image of me in front of you for a while or then you can start to kind of go memory and pathways. Also, if you start to devise, if you start to kind of work on this, um, you know, if you do it without the screen and then you start, you know, you're doing it and then you look back and you think, ah, oh, I've, so I've gone something different. It so doesn't matter. I think as long as you are attentive to your pathways, engaged in what you're doing, it so doesn't matter. Finding kind of almost like you're thinking about this as a particular, you know, the puzzle which is contained in this two by two meter. Thinking, I mean, I'm really um, thinking about what it is to work in this limitation of space doesn't mean that all this space outside of that is irrelevant. It's probably even more relevant. So notice what it is as you kind of get to here and you think, I'm looking at that spot on the floor. I've never actually noticed that spot in my house before, but let's go towards. And now I'm going to really focus here. I'm focusing here. I've never stood like this before in my house before. I've never stood near the kitchen before. I've never kind of stood and looked at the bowl of oranges like this before. But then I'm going to go like that. What will the oranges think of me? Go like this over the top. Take the air of the, the, the apartment, the room, the office in. And then you want to flip. So that difference between the flip. Doop, doop. Doop. Let's go from the beginning of the second bit. So the big end of the first bit is when we're front right hand corner. Coming up. Roll. We're here. We come up. You might even end up like this. Kind of really start to engage into your abdominals. Make it like, don't, don't kind of, um, you want to challenge yourself basically. You don't kind of want to find, go, go to where you know your limit is. Maybe just push into it a bit more. So if you fall, it's okay as long as you can't fall safely, I guess. So um, from here we're up. We go over. What is that texture of your body right now? Do you want to come up? Maybe you want to do hop of that leg. Maybe you've tried it before and you didn't hop of the leg. And now you're going to fall. Ba, 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 ba. Left leg is in front. Now we go. We've got the weight on the right leg. Right leg is bent. There. Push. 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 We're looking. We can see the square on this side of the square. I can see a speaker in front of me. Now we look around. We go one, two, three. Up. Fall. Reach, reach, reach through your center. Up, 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 up. Go into the middle there. And then we go up three over the top. Oh. We come up. Energy through your extended arm. And then we flick there. We go up, up there. Drop. Round. Tuck the left leg in here. You're tucking it in. You're rolling the shoulder. You go back on the right leg. Then you go there. There, there, there. Oh no, let's go on a bit. We reach up, we exchange the legs. Oh wait, I think we should go back. Okay, I'm getting carried away. Um, we're going to go from here. Part three. We go, bloop, reach over the top. Come up. You can use your hands there as well. You can use your hands on the floor from here. We go flick, just brush, go back there. Tuck in, round, drop 
onto it, we go there and back, there, back, round, there, step. So that last little round bit, really think about the foot being on the floor. So we go there, 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 ba, ba, ba. there, there. So roll, drop. Bend back, bend back. Circle that foot, circle the foot. There, there, to go from the beginning. Let's go do the whole thing. I'm actually gonna do it once, facing this way. And, do, 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 do. clockwise, there, there. Fingers towards pubic bone, ribs, heel, look, there. And, whoa, find the swing, left, all right. A left, a right, elbow, elbow up, there, heel, ju ju, fog, oh, tripping over, <laughs> go down, there, oh, slide, Brrr. there, there, so here, line yourself up on that strip, come up, there, then we go over, you can make sound effects, come up. You're going to fall onto the left foot. We go other side. Then we go. We're here. We go there, there, there. Look around over the shoulder. See the other side of the room. Circle the hips like before. Clockwise. Two, three, up, down. Reach, reach, reach through the middle of the pubic bones, the sternum, out through the back of the neck. We go there, there, there. Into part three. Over there. We come up, we go, look, we go, look, look, there, there, there. Nice little change of feet there. Roll, there. I'm on the wrong direction, I think. Maybe. Oh no, that's okay. How's that? Let's do one more time. I'll face you. Let's. And have fun. Ready? What's your starting point? I will say one thing. Notice what you're focusing on. Notice your strength. One more time. Basketball. There. Circle. Pubic bone, fingers, ribs. Right side. Tuck in. Go. Find this swing. Get carried away like I did just then. Maybe I didn't really do exactly what it is. Maybe I do some things less. You can do that too. Find. This. Notice your focus. Go forward. Come up. Find more strength through that leg. Here. What timing do you want to use? There. 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 Round. Whoop. Whoop. Up. There. 
looking out the window. Open. Give the illusion of grandeur. What is it that you're extending out into flicking? Swinging, brushing, shoe, easy. Crisscross, roll the shoulder, easy. Wait, bend, 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 bend. Round, strong arms, pull. Okay, that's the end. Let's just do a little um, rolling down to finish. So roll down, Oh, it starts to move, fold the knees, the hands come to the floor, let's walk out onto all fours. Heels of the hands, dropping down, curve, open up, curve, open up, fold, lengthen the arms, armpits nice and expanded, notice your breathing. From here, heavy pelvis, we're just going to roll up to sitting. Let's rock off to one side and find a stretch forward. Come up. So that's all. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, have fun with it. Play whatever music you want. I think I made that not counting in eights, I think I made it in counting to ten, maybe even fourteens. Anyway, play around with it as much as you want. Use this idea of the square, play with improvisation. When you do the improv, don't feel like you have to actually be within the square, you can be beyond the square, you can be down the passageway, you can go out the door, you can come back. Just start to think about the kind of specificity in the body and awareness. Have fun.